Good morning. I'm here at the Pollock Bench Trailhead located inside the McKinnis Canyons Natural Conservation Area. And this is just outside Fruita, Colorado. I think it's pronounced Fruita, but I'm from Kansas and it looks like Fruita to me. And today we're going to go for rattlesnake arches. According to what I read about it online, it's about eight miles out. It's like you start here at the Pollock Bench, just stay to the right, and then it's like way over here. It's not even on the map. Official start time, 7.40 a.m. I got kind of a late start today. I was camping in the roof nest sparrow last night and I just kind of missed judged the timing on it a little bit should have started earlier all right let's stay on the Pollock one and it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day I love how the grass is green down here that is nice Made it up here to the first sign, and it says that the rattlesnake arches are seven miles. Well, that's better than the eight that I read about. I love these kind of hikes. It's kind of desert hikes out right here in Western Colorado and Utah. These are awesome. They're different than hiking in the Rocky Mountains, but I think it's equally as cool. I'm loaded down super heavy right now. I filled up my Camelback. It's got like 90 ounces in it. Then I also brought two bottles of water as well. And this is what I was afraid of with this hike. There's gonna be a little bit of down and up. It looks like we're gonna go way down right here. Yeah, I see a trail way down there. That's a bummer. Oh, I messed this up big time. I went all the way down and around, down there, and I made it to about right there, and I realized this doesn't look right. Boy, I just made this hike much harder. I'm trying to regain my good mood that I was in earlier. Oh. This just burns me up though, because the whole rest of the way, I'm gonna be thinking where I could have been if I just would have picked up that trail. This is confusing out here. I mean, once again, my GPS and map saved me. I had to cross-reference the two together to see where the trail was on the map. Then I had to compare that to my course on the GPS to see where I messed up. And I don't like this right here. Why is this blocked? Well, time to turn around again because I'm going the wrong way. I just passed 10 people coming in the opposite direction asking me where the trail is. I'm like, it's not this way. They're like, no, you're supposed to drop down somewhere. I mean, this is the most poorly marked trail I've ever done. Yeah, like you're really supposed to know to go down right here. Are you kidding me? No indication, no Karen, no sign. Oh, and now they give us a sign. Oh, thanks. Four more miles. It's almost like they put this sign here just to rub it in your face. I mean, where the hell else would the trail be right here? Put this trail sign somewhere where it matters. Yeah, this is sketchy right here. 
I wish I would have worn my new boots. The ones that have grip on them. Oh my goodness. still grinding. I've been passed by everybody. I'm going so slow right now. I figure to get this done, I'm looking at another 10 to 11 miles total. You can see an arch right up there. I asked these guys if that was one of the rattlesnake arches and they said no. I guess that one's called like window arch. That's pretty original. And I can see the trailway up there. It looks pretty easy for the most part. Looks nice. But it definitely has some elevation gain. I'm on a mission, guys. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna make it. This part right here is rough, really steep. I just passed some locals who were hiking this. They were the same people that passed me earlier. And they said this is like the best weather ever. <laughs> I was like, I know, the temperature's nice, there's no wind, you can't beat it. I'm pooping out guys, my body's giving out. I'm shivering right now, super cold and extremely lightheaded. This is not normal. I'm having to take a break in the shade. I just did a water check and I've got some left, but not a lot. This is going to be really difficult, but the good news is, is that I'm at over 5,400 right now and it looks like the arches are up at around 5,600. So I think I've done a lot of the gain. I'm going for the nature, Nate's natural raw energy honey right now. This is my secret weapon. All right, guys, I have almost got rid of the shivers. I ate my Nate's natural honey, and I also took some micro doses. I'm gonna keep going. Boy, this desert climate just eats you up as far as water. I am officially on water conservation mode right now. I need to drink it sparingly. I don't have a lot left. <sighs> this is a tough hike. I keep joking around saying it's a harder than longs. I mean, it's not. But when you go completely out of the way, it doesn't help. I'm gonna have to show you guys that on the map, how far I went out of the way. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I had a feeling 
I wasn't going the right way. I was like, this doesn't look right. What am I going back towards the plains? What? 2.2 miles. I hope this is an easy 2.2. So far it is. This is getting cool at the end. I'm not giving up. <laughs> this is a serious hike. <laughs> oh my goodness. I believe I just need to come around the corner here and then I should be getting the rattlesnake arches. All right, we just hit the corner back there. So we should be getting the arches here any minute. All right, guys, and we're up here. Lower rattlesnake arches. And I guess this is just the beginning. Well, let's see if I can find a way up there. I've come this far, let's keep going. This is looking behind the arches. Really beautiful. Well, I'm not sure how you get up there. Yeah, I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna go. I don't really see any ways up in the immediate future here. I think I'm gonna go right underneath this arch, right here in the shade take a break. Oh yeah, this is it. Right back here. Oh, it's nice and cool too. Oh, nice. This is the view from my spot. Really awesome. And there's no one down here. I got up here at about 110, which means that this took five and a half hours to get up here to the rattlesnake arches. And the GPS is showing it at 10.3 miles. And that includes all of my mess ups. I just took inventory on my water and I had probably about 35 ounces left. So I went ahead and sacrificed about 10 to make some tea. And in addition to the tea, I brought my homemade beef jerky. Well guys, it's about 1.50 right now, which means that I've been hanging up here around the rattlesnake arches for about 40 minutes or so. But I got a long way back. I've only got about 20 ounces of water. So it is time to go. It's time to head on back. Yeah, 
yeah i'm all jacked up on beef jerky and tea right now i'm ready to do this <laughs> just kidding but on the way up that nature nature natural honey and the couple microdoses did the trick i mean i was like a walking dead man there for a few minutes had the chills that was super weird i made it back down to this trail split and i'm looking at five miles back to the trailhead and that's a pretty popular destination because there are two different ways you can get to it i of course did the long route from the pollock bench trailhead however like a half mile from here is the actual rattlesnake arches trailhead it is much easier going down this thing than going up it but it's still tiring and i am looking forward to sitting down i have made it down that really steep section and that is by far the crux of the hike i mean it just goes straight up there for a minute on the way up and straight down on the way back this should be a pretty mellow downhill until I get to that really sketchy white rock with the drop off. And then I have to go down and up the first incline right there. All things considered, this is a pretty mind blowing trail. It's full of crazy rocks. Oh yes, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking that. That is some nasty looking water. But do I care? Nope. I'll drink these bugs up. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, I'm back down to the secondary crux. It's right down there. Got to get around that flat rock. And it is a little bit sketchy. Oh no! But I lost my pole. I've made it up the first major incline and now I'm floating along on this plateau. But right around the corner up here, I'm gonna have to go up another one. And I just need to hike up and over right here. I am so tired. I am wobbly right now. I just finished off my water. It is completely gone. I have nothing to drink. And this guy right in front of me, we've been chatting on the way down. He is just as exhausted as I am. And he also went the wrong way this morning. <sighs> it's so funny too, because he was commenting that he did Long's Peak last year. And he thinks this is almost just as hard. <laughs> I was like, I know, right? I said that too. <laughs> All right, guys, and we're back. It is just now about 5.50, which means that that took four hours to hike back. That was no joke. Let me check the total mileage on the GPS. Seventeen point five. Woo! I almost drove out here before doing the wrap up, but this hat is salty right now. But I hope you enjoyed the hike, and until the next one, y'all, peace.